Congress party bra aya urban local bodies elections de khili bole fesla luise koi kena aji June second de janai dise. Koi ma bra press conference law homoy in Agulen Manipur Tripura aro Sikkim laga AICC in charge. Girish jo dang kar bra koi se ta khan bishi bhal bra kotha kuriya piche de. Itu fesla luise aro 36 town councils aro 3 town municipal councils bra especially youngsters aro Mikey Khan ke part lobi koi kena encourage kuri dise. Ta aro koi se party do local self government local leadership aro local bodies khan ke taqot kuri bole monas. Congress party bra youths are Mikey Khan ke election de part loi di bole mun ase koi na opposition party ekta hoado naglen manu ge ekta bhal option di bole ta khan la constitution aro democratic duty ase koi se so pomaren jome er ba koi se itya ta congress lo de 16 manu ticket mangi ase aro itu khan majode 8 ta Mikey ase koi se kon ba do general seat khan imde bikhilu bole koi ase koi se this morning the our General Secretary in charge ASCC Shri Kirishri is with us. We had a meeting with, uh, in the last last meeting we extended the BCC office pairs and uh, especially with reference to the last parliamentary election, we had some interactions and then the, it was so good and the crystal of our ASCC that uh, they have given a full efforts and then uh, they have given a good guidance for our uh, party in the state to go ahead with the parliamentary elections so we we have discussed about that and then the, we are really grateful that the mbcc is really grateful to our escc officials our uh, president uh, Karki ji, Rahul ji, and our general secretary administration Vinu Kobal ji, and then our in charge Kiri ji, they have really sacrificed for our state, and they want the uh, really they wanted that uh, we should deliver the good services to our people. So we discussed for that, and then the second uh, is we discuss. Uh, about uh, coming uh, ULP and the uh, town council's uh, elections. Uh, as Mr. Zamir has already said that uh, we had extended PCC executive yesterday and uh, we discussed about these elections which uh, the PCC had already started its uh, preparation. But yesterday after a long deliberation we have decided that we are going to contest these uh, elections, uh, ULB and town council elections. Uh, around 36 town councils are there, three municipal councils are there. So our party will encourage the youngsters and the women especially to be part of the new body of the municipal and town to be the representatives of the wards in the town and the councils so that we strengthen the local self-government, the concept of local self-government, the concept of uh, local leadership, the concept of local uh, bodies. It is the body that is actually governed by the locals, all the decisions that, that are taken by the locals. So we want maximum youths and women, apart from our senior congressmen, to be part of uh, these elections who will represent the various wards on behalf of the people. As a opposition party, as a principal opposition, it is our constitutional duty, it is our democratic duty to give a good option to the people of Nagaland. Normally in the local body elections, as a party, we don't directly interfere, nor AICC gets involved. But now, since these elections are on the on the party symbol, 
we have given them a full freedom to see that they truly represent the grassroots politics so once the grassroots level politics gets strengthened once the grassroots level politics becomes very clean morally high and who will dedicate themselves to the cause of the people who like them it's a it's a actually a nursery for the tomorrow's politicians tomorrow's ministers tomorrow's members of parliament so actually it's a nursery it's a training ground for our younger generation and we also appeal to your medium that uh, maximum youths and the women should participate in these elections whatever guidance help is needed our pcc will provide them because we want to build a good grassroots level leaders for the future who will do clean politics and who will really serve the people of nagaland by protecting the interest of nagas protecting the environment and various issues that people of nagaland are facing so when you come from the grassroots level politics you are bound to learn you are bound to understand uh, the political nitty gritties the issues that the people are facing and how to build the leadership and how to give the leadership uh, to the to the your wards to your municipality to your town and really serve uh, to the people so i'm happy that uh, our pcc along with all our organizations especially mahila and the youth uh, the nsy the sevadal they have taken the responsibility and i'm confident with the able leadership of our dynamic uh, pcc president mr zamir will uh, lead this uh, elections to make it truly a local body election truly a grassroots level uh, politics for the grassroots level uh, leaders i thank all of you uh, in spite of being sunday you are all here for this uh, press conference uh, because yesterday we have had a meeting and today have another assignment so i'll be moving ahead so we have roughly 278 if uh, eastern nagaland does not participate uh, if they participate well we will uh, it will be more but out of 278 we are going to uh, give the representation to the maximum and uh, especially youth and women is our uh, uh, focus so that maximum women and the youth uh, enter the clean politics so if the politics has to be cleaned in future i think it's a youth woman who has to take interest and it's a it's a budding ground it's a nursery as i said for the for the future politicians see as far as nagaland is concerned i want to really thank people of nagaland the civil societies various church bodies who has taken part in these elections and they have seen that it's a clean election we had raised the concern about uh, booth capturing proxy voting and uh, really we appealed uh, civil society people also various religious bodies also to see that uh, the maximum people come out and uh, they truly vote nobody else vote on their behalf and uh, i think everyone participated they have also seen that there is no booth capturing or dirty uh, politics dirty election so they have uh, with their volunteers with uh, our volunteers we have seen that a maximum uh, that it was a by and large a good clean uh, elections we are confident the way that the turnout was there the way our team has worked we are confident that the people of nagaland have uh, voted in our favor and our pcc president will be declared as the member of parliament on 4th when the counting is completed as far as uh, 
pen india is concerned uh, we are confident of forming the government along with all all our alliance partners and i'm sure many more who are not there with us during uh, this elections many more also will join us so that it's a india alliance we want to truly make it uh, all the indians government it's government of indians so by involving the other political parties also minus uh, bjp so it's a battle of only another one day tomorrow is the only day we have to wait and uh, day after tomorrow by this time the trends will be very clear the people have india have voted against the fake promises against the misgovernance the youths have voted because of the employment problem the people have voted against the price rise and the inflation so by and large every indian have voted for future of india for india alliance and i am confident uh, the counting day the actual counting day will prove all this exit polls as another uh, lie of this uh, government and uh, the true picture will be clear truly that uh, we have so far uh, 16 candidate has come forward out of that eight is a lady so ladies are more uh, enthusiastic than the men so the participation this time participation we are expecting more because the town council we have a 218th and then the municipal will have 60 so out of that the reservation is there but the many of the women are coming for the general in the general uh, seats also no for all over it's all just over. ongoing process yeah ongoing process so till so, now till now we have, we were not decided to go aggressively so i study the pcc has decided that we will go out and actually do a service for the every ward because it's our responsibility to give a good clean option to the people of nagaland so that they have a choice to vote so we are giving the choice to the people of nagaland so let the people of nagaland choose let the villages choose who should be their representative because we are the only one who are actually the opposition yes. in nagaland uh, all are aligned to the present government led by by bjp and rss and people of nagaland are fed up with the politics of bjp and rss <coughs> what they have been doing the entire country and so they want a good option with a secular and a very progressive ideological candidates the party supported by by uh, a very secular party so we'll choose the good secular and progressive and clean uh, will keep themselves away from the corruption so that the future politics will be a very clean politics to supplement uh, our uh general secretary in charge uh, after having a thorough deliberations uh, last evening we came to a conclusion that uh, this ulp and the town council is a basic element to bring up the, the development in the state and it works in the, its own districts and for its own the, this uh, people of the districts so Uh, we have uh, discussed and uh, we came to know that in any case the developmental and the basic uh, working system has to start from the grassroots level and this town council and then the municipal is uh, the grassroots base of how the uh, at how it will work out and the process of the political system as well as for the development of the people so with that concern we have decided that we 
will all out uh, work and we will represent and uh, we, we will uh, tell the people that this is a basic uh, basic things where everyone has to involve in the town councils in the urban development. Yes, uh, we have a built and then we said uh, uh, this is a uh, beauty for the, the developmental and the activities of the districts and of their towns. So they, they should come forward and then participate. But having said that, since they have a Again, they have their own resolutions, so it's up to the, the wisdom of the EMU officials whether they will participate or not. But uh, we also feel that this is for the development of its own people, so it's better if they also participate. Actually, the RBB, uh, we, so far RBB has come forward to condense the Zaminyu district. So Congress and then the RPP party, uh, out of the nine seats, they, they are having a mutual sharing of the seats. So in Zaminyu town, the RPP and Congress will uh, be fighting together with the uh, other opponent parties.